Good evening, King Show fans. Vic Amon here again for another edition of the King of TV Bowling Throwback Thursday. This week's TBT matchup features two local legends in the area. We're going to have Riga Kalfas face off against one and only Crusher and Mike Whitman. So let's head lane side where Jennifer Kleekamp and Dave Newrath have the call. Make this an easy spare instead of what it would have been a re relatively difficult split. Well, he alluded to it himself, Jennifer. How many breaks can you get? And what I've found too in the game, the better you're throwing the ball, the more breaks you seem to get. So exactly. I think you create your own luck. Good point. So I get on the first one. <laughs> Riga being more, one of our more vocal players this year. Well, I was looking forward to miking him earlier as we look at Mike Whalen, 38 years old, 220 average, shake it off. <laughs> awesome. And that's how you get a 220 average. As Harry Carey says, holy cow, <laughs> was that a great shot. The revolutions Mike puts on a bowling ball ought to be illegal. Honestly, I don't think there's anything that pumps a bowler up more than hearing that crunch at the end of that, at the end of your release, and there it goes, all ten gone. Twenty-third TV appearance, Mike Whalen, and this is why. Once again, same shot, same crunch. I don't know. Um, and you know. Yeah, we got a car big enough for Mike since, to fit into. Since Riga doesn't actually look at his opponents, well, you know he's got to hear them. <laughs> Unless he has some of those, those little squeezy safety earplug things, yeah. Getting pretty good at that. Getting pretty good at what, Riga? Answering the call? Talking little, on the mic. I, I can't. That might be the case. He wants our job, I think. <laughs> no way. Too good a bowler. A lot of years left in this band. Sometimes you're not sure if it's you or the lane. And right now you have to know your own game. Riga, you're throwing the ball great. I would make an adjustment on the lane. Once again, Riga sparing up so nicely as he usually does. Riga, we looted 23 years young been bowling for quite a while and he's been on TV so many Quite times that works pretty good. Better. He needs one of them little clicker things like he got in golf, you know, every time. <laughs> How many times have you done? Uh, 23, uh, 23. 222 average, 752 to get on today's show. And he bowls right here out of LaRue as we alluded to before. You don't have to be a big guy, 155 pounds, and he can trash some pins. That time not getting the break. Well, he's been asking for it for several shots and breaking down those critical splits, now leaving the 410 and not taking very much time there. I don't... Okay, now he's settled down a little bit. This is a difficult spare going across the alley to cross the pin over. Oh, good shot. Tongue-in-cheek, good shot. Boy, Riga's about yeah. as demoralized as I've seen him in a long time. Of course, normally he's striking with so much regularity, he doesn't have need to be demoralized, but we're going to see how Mike now... Well, Je Jennifer, seriously, okay, we've got a 155-pound guy that's a very, very good bowler going up against uh, a Mike Whalen uh, averaging about the same, but coming in at 260 pounds. And Tail not, the takes. And not, yeah, and not just knocking down pins, physically destroying pins. That, that in itself, to me, has some sort of a psychological factor, unless you're prepared to deal with it before it starts. Five foot five against six foot, 155 against 260, uh, 15 years difference in the age. It all plays into the game. Well, now that could help Riga out slightly. That time with Mike going high. So many times, too, when you do go high, um, instead of making a move, it, it actually was you. And so just go back to where you were playing and stroke it a little better in your normal fashion. Okay. What we're seeing is... Uh 
Colfus is 33 pins. Trails by 33. Not out of it. Very young in the match. Mike Whalen looking at the overhead scoreboard and our overhead monitors, which is also showing the broadcast in the show. A nice feature here with the automatic scores. Brunswick has done a fine job at it. Once, again, going once you get down a little low, so they can drill it into the floor. Okay, he mentioned something at that point. Drill it into the floor. He's dropped, he's dropped his shoulder several times right there. See now, see the ball hit behind the line and then bounce over it. If we could see that again at some point later in the match, we'll show you that that is not what you want to do. Because it's his leverage of his knee bent. Exactly, oh. exactly. Because the minute that ball hits behind the line, your hand is out of position. You cannot lift the ball out of the lane, obviously, because you're already done. And the ball is going to go anywhere, and wherever it goes, it's not going to hit. Riga starting at the age of eight. And I've seen a lot of interest in the, in the youth bowlers uh, wanting to be good. And I think we have a lot of good role models out there that's making that so. And the, and the BPA has a fine traveling league for juniors that's very good experience if you want to get your child involved. That's the kind of ball he would throw to register 12 300 games to his credit. This is how you do it. Stay down, roll through the ball. Wow, what a clean roll. One, two pocket filled up, 10 out of here. Mike Whalen, right hand lane, maintaining a 44 pin lead at this point, halfway through the match. One more for Mike, I coming off the spare. I, I, I really don't see how he's going to be beat today unless the wheels completely fall off. And Mike is uh, going to be traveling upstate to uh, do a little bowling. He does a lot of that. And as a matter of fact, he's going to be catching a plane just a few minutes from now. So uh, maybe he's striking to try to save time, Jen. <laughs> yeah, one more. Oh, it's a little uh, motion for Mike. You yeah. don't see that too often. Well, in, in, in our show at Crossgate Lane, so we were we were watching the same thing, and I don't know if I said it, but I but I was thinking that he's the most animated I've seen him to date, showing that emotion, running things out, slapping his hands a little bit. Not really indicative of the way that he normally carries himself. You're looking at a confused this point a beat a beaten man watch here when you drop your shoulder now watch the ball come down behind the line and then bounce over right here watch it boom now that's behind the line now see it bounce up into the air that's not the way it's supposed to be done folks it's supposed to be lifted out onto the lane rather than bounce into the lane and then bounce back up and for his spare he had a great release a great approach the low angle camera gives us the benefit of watching that and critiquing these types of things. And again, ladies and gentlemen. It works on this lane, but it don't work on the other one. <laughs> works on this lane. Well, let's see if it does work on this lane. 54 pins and only a little bit of paper left. Will it work this time? Well, he knows his lanes. Yes, pairs can be different, folks, and it's nothing wrong with the lanes, there's nothing wrong with the, the way the lanes are dressed or the proprietors or anything else. It's just part of the game. It's part of the game that makes it interesting, Jennifer. I agree. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. I, I, I don't know what to say about this other than it's power. The forearms of Mike Whalen watch this ball get out on to the lane, well out onto the lane, and nothing but power and revolutions to carry or slap that seven pin out late. Back to the difference in the lanes quickly. When you're in lead play and you're playing on the same sets of lanes, it's important that you realize the characteristics of these lanes because you're going to be coming back to them. Exactly right. So, oh, 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 great break for Mike Whalen. He's, he's smiling a little bit and telling Regas that I don't believe it either because he has been on the negative end. Before I leave this place today, I will find a way to strike on this. <laughs> Regas being uh, interacting some humor on us too. 
Well, it's a challenge now. He knows he's lost the match. He just wants to try to figure something out to strike. Well, that's as close as he's been in a while. I think she found a way to hit the pocket, Riga. That's half the battle. And knowing that the match is, is well out of reach, being the player that he is, go up and try to make the spare. Look at this. gentlemen you will never ever want to meet. Or either of the gentlemen. Both of them. Mike, uh, you know, and last time Mike was on I had a phone call. I said, is he, is he as mean as he looks? <laughs> no, he's not, not as mean. Not a bit. He's, he is one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. Um, Mike is an accomplished bowler and an accomplished human being. I, I have nothing but the utmost respect for Mike Whelan. Again, the friendly hand slap, and Michael will be collecting his check and heading on out of town to see if he can earn just a little bit of more. Bowling is Michael's life, and uh, not to mention there aren't other facets that are important to him, but wow, jeez. <laughs> You know what, I think he's thrown every single strike you can possibly throw with power. All different variations, I, light. I mean to tell you, it is great. Light in the pocket, he's gone for um, the solid Packers, like he did tripping out the six and the ten pin the frame before. And one's just like that, getting out the seven. Crunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. This, this, this match is over. Mike Whalen, what a great showing. Finishing out with a potential 278. Way too much for Riga Kalfas. Mike Whalen proved to be too much for Riga Kalfas. 267 to Riga's 183. Our champion. This King of TV Bowling production has been brought to you by White Oak Auto Care, family owned and operated for over 30 years. Give them a call today at 513-741-1300 for all your auto boat needs. And by the Bowler's Edge Pro Shop, balls, bags, shoes, and so much more. Check out the Bowler's Edge Pro Shop at Gilmore Lane. Folks, you can check out all this great action on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to log on to kingoftvbowling.com for more information. We'll see you next time on The Lanes. Take care.